Greetings, it's Minister Kev of the Body of Christ. Now, the previous video YouTube has deleted. We got just bits and pieces, and let's move on to something fresh. Roll the tape. Stop the discrimination. What? Wow. Mm, mm, mm. So you heard it with your own ears. So it's really no big surprise when the world is mad at you. You must be doing something right. When you have big corporations like Google, YouTube, Facebook, man, they usually go along with the status quo, what's popular, what CNN is talking about, and they all have the same fears. But I don't operate in the spirit of fear. You have to un understand that. This is Minister Kev of the body of Christ coming to you, amen, with the word of encouragement, amen. Now, I've already stated, and I don't fear the Delta COVID variant. Yeah, it's real. Just as much as the Bible talks about pestilences and plagues. And it has to do with plagues and pestilences. Not only that, but I read some stories about monkeypox. You know, and then they're talking about the actual plague. Where I believe a young child in uh, Colorado has lost their life due to the plague. But these things got to come. These things have got to happen. But when you're one step ahead, amen, you don't fear these things, amen. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. And my individual house, my body, which is the temple for the spirit of truth, my body, which is a temple for the Holy Ghost, amen, I want to keep it pure. Amen. I want to watch what I see, what I hear, what I entertain. You know, pray for me as I pray for you, amen. There are many things I need prayer for, just like you do too as well. But let me encourage you, give you a word of exhortation out of the word of God, amen. The Delta variant. It's on the scene, some of the big news. The Delta variant. Now they have reinstated the mass mandates in various cities. Knew this was probably coming, amen. But that's not going to have me walking in fear, amen. I haven't. You can watch down through the video playlist history on these things. Amen. I'm still rejoicing. Amen. I'm still in the word of God. That's not going to change. But I know like the vice grips, the tighten the vice grips, man, they're going to try to tighten these vice grips around people who are standing for truth. Amen. Even the unvaccinated people who want to stand on biblical principles. Amen. They're going to try to crack down. This is to be expected, man. They crack down on the Christians of old time, they were persecuted for what they believed in, but they still stood strong, amen. A lot of the apostles, when the persecution happened, man, they stayed right in Jerusalem, amen. So let's get into the word of God. I hope I can take my time a bit. And I'm going over some very familiar uh, passages of scripture. Psalms, the 91st chapter. And I hope that you have your Bible. Go ahead, get your King James Version of the Bible. Let's get into this real quick. Psalms 91, and I'm gonna start at verse 5. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror that thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day. Now, today they're not necessarily shooting arrows like old times, King David and his mighty men and the Israelites, but they're shooting bullets, and crime is out of control. All you got to do is look to Chicago, man, all these cities, man, from small towns, big towns. Big cities, suburbs, the love of many have waxed cold. Why? Because iniquity, because iniquity shall abound. The love of many has waxed cold. And we can see that. And people are so paranoid status, you know, due to the crackdown and the, the lockdowns and this and that and the COVID situation. People is really busting loose, out of control. No Christ in their life. They're going crazy. They're buying guns. With the Joe Biden check and stuff like that. You know, people had a little bit extra money. A lot of people don't even want to go back to work. You know, a lot of these fast food joints, these restaurants, man, you got to wait forever just to get your food. Because they're not even going back. They're getting paid. Man, it's a just a, a, a setup. A setup. Amen. But we know that these hard times are going to come. But let me give you this word of encouragement in Psalms 91, verse 5. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day. Like I said, now this is hitting close to home. We're talking about the arrow and the pestilence. 
all of this gun violence, all of these bullets flying, it's hitting so close to home. Some of y'all have witnessed people die right in front of your face in these cities or wherever you're at. You know, it's hitting close to home. You may know somebody. I may know somebody. You know, but when it hits close to home, man, you got to know that you have to have that foundation. That's Jesus just, Christ. That's Jesus Christ. That's the Son of, the God. Son of God. Amen. And that's the only way to please God, to, 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 to make it to God the Father, to make it to the Spirit, amen. You have to go through the Son of God. That have to be your foundation. Now, people say they believe like the Baptist church. They talk about the Son of God all day, but when it comes time to get water baptized in the official name, which is Jesus Christ, man, they violate. They, 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 they go a different way. They error. They do like the Catholic church, amen. They do like the Vatican. The Vatican with all that Son God symbolism. All of those triangles or pyramids that they glorify in the Vatican. Going back to, to Egypt with the what you call the obliques. They have more obliques. Those, if you've ever seen those tall, like in Washington, D.C., those tall monuments. And at the top, you see a triangle. They call them obliques. I might be pronouncing it wrong. But this is fascination with another God. Fascination with the sun God. Fascination with Baal. Baal, Baal, Balaam. You know, a sensual God, false God. But we worship the most high, amen. We worship God the Father through his son, Jesus Christ. That's why we got water baptized in his name. And we trust and believe to receive the spirit of Christ, which is the Holy Ghost. You can't look to your fake prophet, your fake pastor. Your fake prophet is saying that the only way you can make it to heaven is you got to go through him. Well, there's only one mediator between God and man, the man Christ Jesus. So if your pastor is saying the only way you can make it to heaven is you got to go through me, he's making himself a mediator. Thus some type of son of God. Thus some type of false Christ. Turn away from that devil. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that fly by day. Man, you worried about COVID, but often these cities, a lot of times, we got to worry about bullets that's flying by day. Nor for the pestilence, that walketh in darkness. Now it's telling us that we uh, uh, shall not be afraid. That's why we're not afraid. We're not afraid of the Delta variant, COVID-19. Nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness. Nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side and ten thousand at thy right hand. But it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thy eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. So what do you expect from the wicked when you're hanging out in the crack house? When you're a gangbanger, a gang banana, I can't stand them. You know, repent. All you gang bananas, y'all want to be and act so tough. Now, one thing I can say that I do believe in, I want to say, if you that tough, put the guns down to pick the gloves up. Now, I'm not promoting being any type of brawler, but on this side of town, amen, we believe in self-defense, amen. If I'm preaching on the street, man, I got to uh, get you out of my way. It don't even mean I got to throw hands, feet, elbows, or head, butts, or anything like that, amen, but I could just get you out of my way, you know. Protect the temple, amen. But I'm just saying to all you gang bananas, you think you so tough, put your guns down and pick the gloves up. Amen. Get a hobby. Amen. Train. Amen. Do the right thing. But most importantly, amen, you need a savior. And the only savior there is, it's not no guru. It's not your pastor. It's Jesus Christ, the son of God, who's still alive and is at the right hand of his father. And he's coming back. And when he comes back, he's not going to be happy. His eyes are as a flame of fire. Behold, he's coming with the clouds and all eyes is going to see. So take this information because it may just save your life. The arrow that flies by day. And the pestilence, like I told you, the monkey pox, the plague, and, and what's next? What strain is next? Only with thy eyes shalt thou behold to see the reward of the wicked. Man, you see it every day. Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high, thy habitation. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee. To keep thee in all thy ways. Amen. But there's something you got to do. 
The beginning of Psalm 91, it says, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. So you got to be in that secret place. And you got to have a secret place in your life to go before God and you in your prayer in the name of Jesus Christ. Because if you don't, he ain't going to hear you. But you got to have that secret place. Amen. To get away from people at times. Because he is your refuge. He is your fortress. And it's God whom you must put your trust, not in some man. Amen. Because we're living in a time, amen, where the Bible is fulfilling itself. Amen. And let's turn the Bible, and I hope you have the King James Version of the Bible, to Matthew the 24th chapter. I've been here many times. We'll go here again. Amen. Uh, 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 24 and 3 of Matthew. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, we'll talk about Jesus Christ, the Messiah, the Son of God, the Son of Man. The disciples came unto him privately saying, tell us, when shall these things be and what shall be the sign of thy coming and of the end of the world? So he gave signs and Jesus answered and said unto him, take heed that no man deceive you. See, it's a lot of men who are claiming to be the anointed. <laughs> Some even claim to be the Christ. Look at David Koresh and, 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 and some guy in Russia and, and, you know, just so many. They even claim to actually be the Christ. Take heed that no man deceive you. Your own pastor is doing it on a, 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 subliminal, a subliminal type of level, you know, by saying the only way you can make it into heaven is you got to go through that false prophet. <laughs> Take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name saying, I am Christ. And shall deceive many. Some even say, yeah, he is the Christ. Some even say, yeah, he is the son of God. But they're still deceiving. Because when, when it comes time to get water baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, they won't do it. For many shall come in my name saying, I am Christ. And some even say that they are Christ. I believe even Farrakhan at one time said that. And they shall deceive many. And you shall hear wars and rumors of wars. Man, it's all kind of wars, man. They war on the streets. You know, Antifa and the Proud Boys still going at it, you know. Uh, 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 my goodness, you got a war in Yemen. You got, you still got stuff going on in Syria, man, and Russia making moves, man, and China making moves, man, and America always got their nose on something. It's all kind of wars. It's nation against nation, black against white, you know. People warring against the police. It's all kind of wars. But it says here, see that you be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines. Famines. What does that mean? Lack of food. Man, we've been blessed here in America, man. We got a microwave society, man. Get some fast food quick. You just don't understand how blessed we are. As opposed to a third world country, man. You know, they have to worry about where they're going to get their next meal. You know, a lot of times, you know, in these neighborhoods, we worry about bullets and pit bulls. Man, but in these other neighborhoods, man, they got to worry about AKs and tigers. Especially in India. Down there by the... Uh, Ganges Delta area You got all kind of Bengal tigers And you know they ride alone They just come out and drag you off They come into the villages Drag you off Like I said we got to worry about pit bulls man But a lot of times in these third world countries They got to worry about lions and tigers So count your blessings amen For all these things must come to pass But the end is not yet Okay, it talked about I'm in verse 7 For nation shall rise against nation And kingdom against kingdom And there shall be famines these churches got a famine when it comes to the word of God. You can't find a church nowadays. 90% of these churches are false. They're false on your corner. They're false. The leader claims to be an apostle, but he can't heal himself or anybody else from COVID. <laughs> but he claims to be an apostle. He can't heal from any other sickness. He has no power. The apostles have power. Amen. Famines and pestilences. I just told you. Monkeypox, COVID-19, the plague, super gonorrhea, whatever. And earthquakes in diverse places. Didn't they just have a, a major earth shattering event, an earthquake in Panama, the Panama area? You know, all along the Pacific and earthquakes to come. You know they're coming because Jesus already spoke these things. There are going to be earthquakes in different diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. Now, now get this here. It says here. Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted. My goodness, the affliction that's coming. Cracking down on those who want to stand by faith and not fear. They're cracking down. You know what's coming? Ultimately, they hate Jesus. They're anti-Christ. That's anti-Son of God. Anti-Christ. So it goes to an even deeper level. 
You know, those who have been water baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, they were a little closer to us. But come to find out that they're anti-son of God because they say the son of God doesn't exist no more. He stopped at the cross. In other words, they'll tell you in the organization I came from, one of the elders said, yeah, Jesus Christ was just a puppet. Oh, man, I'll knock out Jesus and stuff like that, you see. Man, that's, that's crazy. But the good thing about the Son of Man is he'll forgive you if you've spoken a word against him, but don't blaspheme against the Holy Ghost. You can't do that. Amen. So it says here, then they shall deliver you up to be afflicted. So you know affliction is coming. Man, to be a Christian, you're going to, all those who live godly in Christ are going to suffer affliction. We're going to suffer persecution and shall kill you and ye shall be hated of all nations for my name. Say, just for the name of Jesus Christ. And you're taking a strong stand on the word of God. And then shall many be offended and shall betray one another and shall hate one another. Man, you looking for somebody to blame. Oh, Joe Biden want to blame the unvaccinated. Blame Christians. Blame the Amish or whoever. They're looking for somebody to blame. And many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many. And because iniquity shall abound, what does, that mean? what does that mean? It means wickedness has abounded in the world. The love of many shall wax cold. So why has the love of many waxed so cold? Why are people so cold? Why? Because iniquity is abounding. Wickedness is abounding everywhere. You got little Nas X promoting homosexuality. Every time you look up, he's half naked and stuff. All of these rap videos, this gangsterism and thuggery. We rebuke all that mess in the name of Jesus Christ. We rebuke it, amen. Everywhere you look from uh, the video games, all the killing in the video games. Because iniquity shall abound the love. That's why people are so cold, because they're becoming numb and callous because they see it everywhere. Everything has changed. Man, all these different cable channels, you don't need all them channels. Let's go back to the black and white time. Or when you just had a few cable channels. Now, now get this here. Everybody talk about they say, but get this here. But he that shall endure to the end, the same shall be saved. So you got to endure to the end to be saved. You got to endure, but he that endure to the end, the same shall be saved. So if you endure, that means you got to go through something. It's coming. I told you, you know, we read it. It's in the word of God. It's to prepare you. Just read the book of Acts, everything they went through. And they counted a, a joy to be persecuted for the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. If any man suffer as a Christian, we glorify God and be happy and rejoice when we get when we get persecuted for the name of Jesus Christ or for standing upon Bible principles. We rejoice, amen. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. So you see that. Amen. The gospel pretty much has gone all around the world, but we even got to get back to the gospel because the gospel has been watered down. It's, it's, it's very simple. Jesus Christ died, he was buried, and he resurrected. Amen. That was the Son of God. And he's coming back. Amen. He's coming back. I mean, you see everything that's going on. Amen. I just read from the Word of God. I know the persecution is going to come against me. Like I said, they just took down the last video. It was a good video. I might try to put up some of it that I think that, you know, will make the grade or whatever, you know, whatever, whatever, whatever. You know, I have to read the guidelines or what have you. I ain't got time for all that. But nevertheless, if the Lord wills, I'll do this or that, you know. I'll pop up somewhere if they shut me down, you know, if the Lord permits, if it's the Lord's will. But, but until the next time, this is Minister Kevin. Go ahead and sign up and tell everybody to stay encouraged. I show him. Until next time, be blessed.